Hey, this is Doug here at Johnson City Ford. I recently posted a video about Waze Sync 3 and using it on your in your car with the Sync 3 uh, software. Uh, we just got an update to 3.0. I had a lot of people ask me to make a video showing how to install 3.0. So we're gonna do that right now. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to owner.ford. Dot com. That's going to pull this up. If you have an owner at Ford website, uh, log in. You come over here and you can register or log in. Uh, and this is where you do this. I am already got my information logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now, mind you, I have already done my update, so I'm going to go over here to support and sync software updates is where we're going to go. Uh, when you click on this, it will pull up your updates. Uh, it says you have recently downloaded the update, and you can confirm the update here or you can begin the sync update if you haven't done that. So we will actually begin the update and it'll pull you through a step-by-step -step process on doing the update on here. It'll you know prep for the download. You'll have to have a, um, a thumb drive for this and you'll download this to your computer and then put it on your jump drive. Benefit view, I've already done these steps. So once you have it downloaded, you'll have a nice pretty folder right here with a crazy lettered file. This is a zip file. You'll open this up and you'll see that you'll have a list of files. You'll select these and drag them and drop them into your removable disk. Now, once you do this, I've already done this as well. Once you do this, it will, let me just go ahead and go to removable disk. It'll pull them up here on our, our flash drive. Now, sync my ride. This right here are all the files. Do not mess with any of these files. Just leave them like they are. Uh, once you have done this step, on this process here, once you've done the download, you'll unzip file and move to USB and then install files on sync. What you do is you click a little button here. We'll, we'll go ahead and scroll through this. Uh, start the download, agree. It'll begin downloading that file again. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here and pause it. And then we go back over here and it begins step two. It'll go walk you through step by step what I'm doing here. But I figured I'd make it easier for everyone to be able to watch it. And then next you install the updates to sync. So once you do this, it'll take you to the next step is to install the files on the sync. It tells you everything that you should do right here, including waiting approximately 10 minutes later after your first little installation. And we'll see that here in just a moment. And once we do that, we report our update to Ford. Now here's the fun part. I'm inside a 2017 Ford Fusion. Uh, this is a brand new Fusion, never been owned. Uh, what you have to do to start this off is you have to start the engine. You cannot put it in accessory mode. You have to physically start the engine. Now, it requires you to get at least a 32 gig USB thumb drive. Now, whenever you do this, you have to format it on your computer, and I'll show you that after this video, how to format this thumb drive. It has to be at least a 32 gig. Now, whenever you buy your standard removable disc, jump drive, thumb drive, whatever you want to call it, uh, it comes in a standard format. To change the format, it's really easy. You go over here to my computer, uh, in, your, in your Windows Explorer, just you go to your computer, and you find your, your uh, removable disc, and you right click it, and it'll allow you to format it. And you can change the format over here. Now this one's already formatted to XFAT, but you can change it right here. Most all, all standard of them are FAT32. As you can see, it's the default. But you want to make sure that it is XFAT, meaning this is, uh, I guess, uh, to extract the files off of this, this USB. So since it's already done that way, I'm going to skip this step. I just wanted to show you where you can format this USB uh, jump drive. Once you got it, you put it down here in the USB drive. Uh, you simply insert it in. Once you've inserted it, it will begin to load the update to the system. Um, so that way it can begin updating the system. Now this is a little bit of a process and it takes a little bit of a time. Uh, but once it's done, it'll, it'll do a phase one and then a phase two. All right, so this is phase one and it's gonna reboot the system automatically. Uh, now keep in mind, this is just the first phase of the update. Once it loads back up, do not remove the USB. It is not finished yet. Please allow it to reboot. It's gonna continue the process uh, after this. You have to kind of wait a little bit. Um, it takes it a minute for the system to load up the USB, but it will pop up again up here, this little black bar, update system software or updating system software. Please don't remove the USB. As you can see, it's about probably 30 to 45 seconds later, 
it's updating system software. Now this is gonna take a little bit longer. As the, uh, as the instructions said, this is gonna be about 10 minutes. So after you wait for a little bit, this will pop up a little thing, let you know you need to key cycle it. It's gonna restart the system and uh, it'll, it'll go through this process and let you know that you need to turn off your vehicle and turn it back on for part two of the process. In this particular instance, this vehicle had been running, went ahead and restarted the system and rebooted sync three. Uh, and it pulls it back up with, uh, with a little notification icon and we'll go over that uh, here in just a moment. All right, so you might notice this icon right over here. When you touch on that, sync successfully updated, sync receive software update, uh, all that good jazz through Wi-Fi. We'll click on this, two available networks. We're gonna connect to one real quick. So connect to a Wi-Fi network to allow it to, to just check and make sure we got everything done. Um, and it's going to, uh, we go back to the home screen here. It's important to understand that this is a, a uh, Wi-Fi update here. We first downloaded it and then we allowed the software to upload it through the Wi-Fi system. Uh, once it does that, installation is complete. We'll stop here, read this to let you know that you can now remove your USB device. Once you get to this screen, you can remove your USB device um, and you will have to, to, to um, shut off your vehicle and come back at a later time. Do be patient as this process does take a little while. Uh, it'll still show that your, your system is version 2.2, but don't panic. It has to take time for it to be able to update. So go ahead and we'll go ahead and remove the USB and we'll move on to the next step of this process, which is letting Ford know that we have updated our system to the Sync 3.0 system. So once we have it back in our computer, we report the update for Ford. Now this is the same screen that we were at earlier. Do not leave this screen, keep it open. Uh, we'll report the update to Ford and we'll come down here and it'll say select the file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the computer where that was at, my computer, removable disk, sync my ride, and this XML file, this one right here. We're going to upload Thanks, that one to Ford so that way it notifies it that that vehicle has been updated. So once that's done, we are finished. Everything's done. Now we have to wait five to 10 minutes before we go back out there and turn it back on because everything has to update. Don't get ahead of yourself. Make sure you, you have a little patience and uh, everything will be fine. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, one thing that I missed last time is when you crank your car up after you update it, that little download icon pops up right here. When you click on that, it'll let you know that the uh, system update was successful. You have to turn your car off, meaning turn it completely off and shut it off so that way sync actually disappears. And then you have to turn it back on. You have to power cycle the car so that way it will work. Once you've done that, uh, we'll go over here to settings and double check everything, make sure it's right under general. We go to about sync and it shows that we are on version 3.0. Once we have power cycled it after the update, uh, we, can, we, can, we can make this work now. So what we will do is we'll plug in my phone. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this one handed here. So we're gonna plug in my phone. I got the Waze app opened up. And when I do that and I select the apps, you'll see that it will begin to detect in my phone and it's gonna start uploading the apps that I have open. There's Ford Pass, uh, there's Waze. You'll notice the navigation icon popped up on my screen. Uh, this is really cool, I love this. So once you select this, uh, it'll ask you what's your default navigation app and you will select Waze. Once you do this, it'll wait for you to open up Waze, which I already have done. And you'll notice that our Waze is locked out on our iPhone, but it's available on the Sync 3. So. It's just waiting for me to, to open up Waze and uh, getting everything put together. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit cancel. Waze. Waze, there we go. All right, here we go. Now I got it to pop up. So it says app requests, access to notifications, allow. We're gonna hit yes. Request that information will be shared with Waze, blah, 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 blah. We close it out. So now we have Waze up on R-Sync 3. Congratulations, you've updated your sync system to 3.0.
and have access to Waze.